Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Now firstly, my apologies if you guys hear some cooking in the background. My fiance is currently cooking up a storm, so we'll just have to deal with it on this one. But the noise cancellation of this microphone usually is pretty great. And yes, of course, for those of you guys who are very observant, I did say fiance this time rather than girlfriend, so I guess there's a little Easter egg for you. But either way, cooking in the background or not, the show must go on. And boy, oh boy, speaking of a show, speaking of a clown show, we're going back to the damn circus. The circus that is, ABC's The View. The word conspiracy theorist, I seem to use it quite often, namely because it's one of the left's favorite gaslighting tools. You crazy, kooky conspiracy theorists. The wacko extremist, tinfoil hat, QAnon anti-science MAGA extremist is how they try to label us. But when it really comes down to being a conspiracy theorist, it seems as though, like usual, the best examples of wacko conspiracies always come from the left. I mean, to be completely honest, usually their biggest political talking points, their biggest scandals, the stuff that permeates the media the most, at least in the left-wing spheres, tend to be totally bogus, complete nonsense conspiracy theories, kind of like Russiagate. Actually, even with Documentgate involving Donald Trump, which was their favorite news story for a while there, leftoids were caught up in another conspiracy theory about nuclear codes by Donald Trump's bedside. Oh, even most recently with one of their favorite boogeymen, Andrew Tate, which again, I'm so confused as to how this involves Republicans in the first place, even with him, they spread a nonsense conspiracy theory about the pizza box and Greta Thunberg leading to Andrew Tate's arrest in Romania. Anyways, too many examples. Wasting time. Let's get to the latest wacko leftist conspiracy theory brought to you by ABC's The View. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, take a look at this. Did you actually think that these leftoids were going to accept their bias and double standard, admit that they were wrong when it comes to the whole document gate? involving Donald Trump now that Joe Biden has been found doing the exact same thing except even worse? Of course not. Instead, they're going to continue to cope, continue to play defense, dig their heels even deeper. Somehow, none of this is Joe Biden's fault. No, it couldn't be. There's something else going on here. The documents must have been planted by those mega extremists. <laughs> Look how crazy this is. You know, you know what I think? I've never Trump. seen a, a luckier person than Donald Trump. Just as we're this close well, to getting him, but you somehow know these but it, documents you know what, appear. But here's the thing. Biden is wrong to have done this. He, he was in office wrong. for well, 40 years find ago. Let's find out what this is first. Now, again, mm. one of the things That's that gets true. me crazy is before we know, it's already been spun a specific yeah. way. I don't want to see that. The, I want to see someone explain to me, A, how it's possible that after all this time, nobody yeah. knew this. Because to me, if you missing classified information, I don't mean to laugh, but in my house, Does, if stuff is missing... I know it's Does missing. it feel like oppo research to you? Does it feel like the Republicans are behind it? It's I, not. I think that it did originally, but I'm sorry, sorry, but not not now. Because one of the things one of the things he's saying is that you know some of these some of the locations where the docs may have been shipped in the transition I may see. have gotten taken and put. But still, holy moly! I cannot believe that people unironically watch this show, nodding their head, going, mm, "Yes, Queen." What the hell? <laughs> Am I even watching? These people are totally deranged. And take it in, absorb it as legitimate information, as qualified individuals giving their educated opinions. This is year after year, in my opinion, in my books, winning the award for dumbest show on television. And they're competing against Maury and all kinds of other nonsense. This is literally the dumbest show on television, and it's thanks to the hosts, these absolute geniuses at The View, doing what they do best, talking total gibberish and nonsense. First off, Joy Behar exposing the bias. Joe Biden gets caught with classified information and considering the connection with his son, like I keep going on, yada, yada, yada. It's a serious scandal. And her immediate view is, gosh darn it, this is getting in the way of us persecuting Donald Trump. And yes, I said persecuting, not prosecuting. I choose my words very wisely. What a ridiculous reaction. Joe Biden gets caught, in my opinion at least, committing a crime, a felony. He stole classified documents from the White House as he was leaving, stored them all 
all over the place, we're now learning that he just had them laying in a box next to his Corvette, and the view immediately goes, but Donald Trump. Donald Trump's the luckiest man on earth. We had him. No, you didn't. Every time we're this close to getting him, something pops up. No, nothing pops up every time you think you're close to getting him. You're actually just deranged and deluded, and you were never close to getting him, because there's never actually been any concrete there, there evidence to suggest any wrongdoing or crime involving the former president. These crazy, crazy people. Then Sonny Hostin, of course, that's really the topic of this video, goes on to suggest a conspiracy theory that really what probably happened here was these GOP extremists planted the classified evidence or planted classified documents in Joe Biden's garage. What? I mean, to even imply something like that with no proof whatsoever shows you exactly who these people are. Plus, where do they get off saying this kind of stuff and then calling you crazy, saying that you're an unhinged lunatic for even suggesting that Antifa, for instance, or even the FBI may have infiltrated the January 6 events and caused disturbance and riled up the crowd? I mean, we have literal evidence of that. Actual Antifa members dressing as MAGA supporters and infiltrating the crowd, not to mention decades of American history where the FBI implants themselves in these types of events and tries to entrap or create false flag events. There's some actual context there. There's a reason why those questions are being asked, but they say you're crazy for even mentioning something like that, and then in the same breath, make the claim or even the suggestion that somehow Republicans are the ones who planted classified information at Joe Biden's private residence in his garage. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And let me guess, they probably also planted the documents at the Biden Penn Center. If that's the case, then release all the security footage. I'm sure there has to be cameras cameras where sensitive documents are being stored, of course, there's no need to do any of that because obviously this is a wacko conspiracy. This is just copium. This is a total inability to just admit that you were wrong. Admit that when Donald Trump was in possession of documents that he declassified and you made this whole big deal about it, supported the DOJ launching a special counsel investigation, called for Donald Trump to be tried as a criminal. Now that it's happening to Joe Biden, you just don't want to accept that that same standard should apply to your own guy. I mean, this is what I mean when I say that these are dishonest, angry, vile, just bad people. Oh, we're so virtuous. We care about everyone. We just want free stuff for everyone, and especially illegal migrants and people of color. I'm such a good person. I'm such a good, rich liberal. Give me a friggin' break. Good people don't apply double standards like this, especially not legal double standards. This person should be arrested for a non-existent crime. Well, what about your guy who just got caught doing the same thing except much worse. Oh no, well it can't be. The benefit of the doubt, he deserves the benefit of the doubt, it must have been those evil Republicans. You're a lunatic. Every single one of these leftoids who constantly behave in this manner, you people are crazy. We're not talking about a small thing here. These people are willing to bend and twist the truth, they're willing to be utterly dishonest within the context of the legal system. They want to send people to jail for crimes they haven't committed because they disagree with them politically. Kyle Ritten House is a great example of that. Donald Trump is a great example of that. They launch phony investigations based on false information, and they pursue criminal charges against Donald Trump because he's not very nice on Twitter. These are people who want to jail their political opponents, literally. I don't say these people are nutcases for no reason. I'm not being facetious. I literally mean it. These people are crazy. They're vile, angry, hateful. Most importantly, or probably the overarching theme, they're bad people. And of course, you might be thinking, well, you know, it's the entertainment industry. It's just Hollywood. It's wacko Joy Behar and Sonny Hostin just riffing on their little daytime talk show, keeping all those stay-at-home moms busy. It's not meant to be taken seriously or literally, to which I say, cope. And also, it's not just them. Democrat lawmaker Hank Johnson, quote, not ruling out that GOP planted classified documents in Biden's garage next to his Corvette. I'm suspicious of the timing of it. I'm also aware of the fact that things can be planted on people. Places and things can be planted. Places and things can be planted. What? Um, things can be planted in places and then discovered conveniently, Johnson said. Oh, man. I swear recording these videos sometimes, I actively lose IQ points, especially reading anything from Hank Johnson and friggin' Sonny Hostin, two absolute geniuses in their own right. But I don't know, I don't know what to say here, friends. What else can or needs to be said? I feel like you guys are already thinking it. It's all just so crazy. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you guys are up for it. I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.